What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about GarageBand and how to fade in, fade out on a track in, in GarageBand. Now, um, my version of GarageBand is 10.2, so you might have a uh, more uh, newer recent version. Uh, so if uh, this doesn't work in a recent, more newer version, then I apologize. But um, if yours looks similar to this, then uh, we can uh, get started. Okay, so anyway, I have a little drum track in here. It's doing this little beat thing. You probably can't hear that anyway. And um, I want it to fade in, and then I probably also want it to fade out. But uh, for right now, we're just going to have it fade in. And so what do I need to do? Well, I need to make the volume absolutely quiet in the beginning and then make it to a reasonable volume um, somewhere a little bit farther down the road here um, so it actually fades in gets louder and then it plays at the volume that I wanted to get to so what do I need to do I need to add some automation and so what I'm gonna do is in GarageBand up at the top and I don't know if you you probably won't be able to see this but there's some options there's file edit track record mix share view window and some other ones if you go to mix again if you go to mix actually yeah no I can't show it to you but if you go to mix there's an option for show automation and if you choose show automation you can also press the A key on the keyboard you'll notice that I have this little volume thing I'm gonna press A on the keyboard it's gonna disappear I'm gonna press A on the keyboard again and it's gonna show up again now when it, what happens when it shows up well we have this drop down here we have this little blue uh, icon here as well that's already turned on and it says enable automation and then we have this drop down here and we can automate all of these things volume pan echo reverb we've got a bunch of other things as well and then we even have some plugins smart controls but we're gonna leave it at volume for right now so we are looking at the volume and the volume is this slider right here and if you see that uh, if you see I am moving my slider up and down while I'm moving it up and down you will also see a line moving up and down here that is uh, indicating or indicative of the volume level what I need to do is again I want to make this line all the way down to the bottom in the beginning and then when I get in a little bit farther in a couple beats in I want the volume to raise up or be raised up at this point so it fades from nothingness to uh, something we can hear okay so what do I do well um, I actually come right into this track here bring my mouse into this track and I click and you'll see that I have a dot here um, now to do this we need two dots so I'm going to click on the yellow line again and we have two dots now. I think you can see that. One, two. This is where I want the sound to be at its loudest when it fades in. And this is where I want the fade to start. So I'm going to click it, drag it all the way down, all the way down, just to make sure, and move my playhead here. So volume is zero here, or even less than that. And then it is to the correct volume at this point. So if I press play, it will fade in. And trust me, I don't know if you can hear that, but you probably can't but that is how you fade in now let's say I want to fade out while well, I have this automation track still enabled if I don't I can press a to get it back make sure that you have this yellow line highlighted add a dot by clicking add another dot at the end by clicking drag it all the way down so you can see here that at the beginning it's going to fade in play at its regular volume for a while and then start to fade out until it fades to nothing and if I tested it it would play and it would fade out exactly how I want to but I'm gonna check anyway here we go oh boy and now it's fading out it's fantastic okay so you can use this for any track in GarageBand just make sure that you turn on automation by pressing the A key or going to the top and going to mix show automation and you will get this volume automation uh, lever right here okay if you have any questions let me know thanks